I'm delighted actually to be asked to speak to Enda, Mary and Brian this morning just regards our experience in University College Cork with Cavan Institute of Students and particularly those students that have taken on the Sports Coaching and Leisure Management Programme or the QQI Level 6 Sports Development with Personal Training Programme. Um, from our perspective in UCC, it's always great to take on students from maybe outside direct leaving certificate entry routes, uh, given the many benefits that we would see with students um, who have taken on further education. Um, we're very lucky and very fortunate to have had a number of students successfully complete our programme uh, in, in UCC and there are five students that have come through the Cavan uh, QQI route, uh, those being Erica Joyce, Ryan McCabe, Michael Flood, Sharon McGurn and Laura Bleakley. And currently in our second and third year offerings of the programme, we have four students, namely Melanie Morn, Adam McBarren, um, Kieran Cosgrove and Alan Moore. So we're actually delighted that we can kind of say either directly graduating or directly studying on our programme, we have nine students from Cavan Institute. Uh, and when we talk about some of the benefits that we see with, with students who have taken on further education, there are a couple I'd just like to mention today and acknowledge the great work that's being done on these programmes in Cavan. Um, first and foremost is the five graduates that we have seen from our programme have done tremendously well in life and in further work experience uh, capacities. Um, many of these students are now teaching uh, in secondary school uh, positions across the country. Um, I was recently speaking with Erica Joyce, who I am, have been made aware is teaching in Kells uh, and doing tremendously well there in her first year of it as a teacher, uh, qualified teacher. Um, and then when we go to someone like Sharon McGurn, who actually did do a year's placement uh, in fourth year in UCC and realised actually that maybe working with secondary school children wasn't the pathway that she would have uh, maybe wanted to do for the rest of her life. So she has actually went back and decided to undertake a primary school teaching degree. But again, you can see the, the commonalities that these students have shared is that they, they all want to work with children, some want to work maybe with adolescents, and uh, Sharon is going back to work with children that are a little bit younger in primary school years. The second benefit uh, outside of them doing tremendously well in, in the programme is the leadership skills that we see from students that have done a QQI level five or a QQI level six. Uh, and when I'm talking about leadership skills, we would expect all of our students to have some maturity uh, in undertaking a, a degree that is full time. But particularly, we've seen the likes of Erica and we've seen the likes of Ryan step up, step up to the plate and be the nominated class representatives for a group of approximately 50 students in their year. And not only did these students take on the role for maybe one year, um, we saw Erica taking on the role for a couple of years, for example. But these, the, the, these, these responsibilities don't come easy to students. They have to display a level of maturity and a level of selflessness that we don't uh, always see with student cohorts coming in and it's great to see that they were willing to act on behalf of the voice of the entire class and not just their own individual interests and pursuits. So secondly, those leadership skills were, were highly valuable coming uh, from the Cavan Institute. Of I think the third benefit that we see very often with students coming through the programmes of sports coaching and leisure management or sports development with personal training in Cavan is that they understand the full-time nature of the degree. Um, these are students that have actually taken on modules, further, further education, and understand that these are requirements in the working day. And when students uh, coming from the QQI route attend our courses and our programmes in UCC, they really, get, they really adapt to that environment quite quickly and understand that they have to study in a full-time capacity uh, on a daily basis during both semesters, i.e. semester one and semester two, which we offer in our route in, in UCC. Uh, I think the fourth benefit of five, and I could have identified a couple of more, but five uh, important benefits I've identified today uh, is what I'm speaking about. But that fourth benefit is that I think the students in Cavan, uh, and think is the wrong word, 
I know from my experience of working with them is that they have a unique drive for employment, or you could call, also call that a thirst for employment. And the example here of the five graduates that we have recently had in UCC, four of them are successfully working in school environments, again, as mentioned across the country, but that fifth student has went back even for further education again, um, seeking a primary school teaching qualification to work in a primary school setting. So that thirst or that drive for employment is a really uh, unique selling point of students coming from the QQI Cavan Institute. And then I think the final benefit that we see uh, with students um, coming from the level five or the level six route in Cavan is this idea that they have a unique and really meaningful drive to work with children and youth. And um, I guess when the, the, the levels and modules that they're studying in Cavan, whether that's coaching related content, leisure management related content, personal training related content, many of those facets branch into the area of children and youth. And I think that's that's a really uh, a really big strength of these students coming into into our program because they are able to share those experiences and their enthusiasm to work with children and youth because ultimately our degree is trying to produce qualified teachers to work with 12 to 18 year old children for the rest of their working lives. And by these students uh, coming from from the level five or level six uh, offering in Cavan, they understand that and they bring that enthusiasm right throughout years one, two, three and four of our degree. And by having that desire and that appetite for working with children and youth, they will make fantastic professionals and they, they offload that enthusiasm with their peers who have come directly from the Leaving Certificate Entry route. So they, hopefully that gives you a little bit of a flavour as to what I think are the benefits of students who have done further education. And in this capacity, we're talking about Cavan Institute, but their great learnings and their sincere sincere enthusiasm for our program in UCC. So I think it's a it's a really good relationship that we've developed with Cavan over the last number of years. And we're looking forward to seeing the our existing four students, Melanie, Adam, uh, Alan and Kieran, uh, become qualified, competent professionals in the next number of years and graduate successfully with a teaching qualification. So thank you very much there. <laughs> I'm Michael Flood and I did sports coaching and leisure management in um, Cavan and I then went on to UCC to do um, sports studies and physical education with history and I am now a teacher in Temple Michael Community College in Longford. So I suppose um, after leaving start I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do and I suppose the only thing that really interested me was sports at the time and I was big into playing and then I kind of slowly during the summer started coaching and getting involved with teams and then I suppose because um, Cavan Institute is local and I heard about it and seen advertising for it and I knew a lecture or two down there. I got um, I kind of got uh, advised to go down and see what it was like and I went down and I went into sports coaching and kind of enjoyed it. And after the first year, I was kind of told that I could go on and progress into doing, um, become basically a PE teacher and do physical education. And I said, yeah, because I'd enjoyed the first year there in Cavan and the courses or uh, similar enough, um, you know, that it, it was going to benefit me being in Cavan. A lot of the modules are the same. Um, you know, I wouldn't, wouldn't have been strong in science in secondary school, but doing nutrition and anatomy in Cavan then helped me then to be able and give me the confidence to go and then do it in, in UCC. Um, and like that, I remember the first day in uh, UCC, you know, the lecturer kind of talked out and he said that, Everyone deserved to be here. You know, you have 500 points. And then uh, there was me sitting there who got nowhere near that. But, um, you know, when, when I went later on into the course, you know, people are struggling how to reference, you know, the, that you're after learning that skill in CAB and that people were actually, you know, shy to talk in front of students where, where we would have done that in CAB and Institute. So, you know, I gained a lot of confidence and a lot of the modules overlapped with like that, uh, with the coaching, with, uh, anatomy, nutrition, uh, sport, exercise, everything like that. And it just gave me kind of that little bit of edge and that confidence that maybe over other students would have had then from getting high points in the Leaving Cert. 
Um, I really enjoyed that in in, in Cavan Institute. You know, it I suppose like that with sports being massive in in my life for that. I got to play in Trench Cup with Cavan Institute, and you know we played against strong teams and. I think it was Lair Kenny IT, who are now a Sigerson team, and I think we played Marino as well, you know, so like that helped me develop my football, and we had a great coach, and Brian Bates, you know, and he helped out, you know, with the course and with football on the side, so I got, got a good few tips on how to play, and, uh, you know, from a cabin man, which is rare enough, but um, <laughs> I'll, uh, I, I took them on board, and I suppose like that helped me, especially when coaching and playing that, uh, you know, I went on then to, uh, in UCC and got involved. With our Sigerson, and we went on to actually win the Sigerson there in uh, 2019, and that was a, you know, a massive, massive achievement for me personally, and then for, you know, the college itself and UCC to win a Sigerson. Teaching in um, Temple Michael College, so it's in Longford Town, and um, it's a desk school, and I got offered there in September, so this is my, you know, near my first full year there. So I'm just teaching. I got the full hours in P, so I've classes from first year to sixth year. So I have a full range and, um, you know, it's, it's going good a bit difficult at the moment, you know, which obviously online or that, but I got a good response from most of them. A lot of students kind of, especially in the senior cycle, are looking for, you know, um, their programs and how they can do home workouts, core activities, you know, and just kind of send them on little plans or that. And they really appreciate that. So that, that's me at the moment. So hi everyone, my name is Kira Bohan and I am self-employed for the Leitrim Sports Partnership. So when I went to Calvin College, I done the sports development with personal training course and um, through that I qualified as a personal trainer and a gym instructor. Um, I absolutely love working self-employed now for the Leitrim Sports Partnership. So when we were in college, we got the opportunity to do two weeks of work experience with the course and um, I knew well who I was doing my work experience with because um, I've always seen her in Ballamore and she's done so well for herself. So I've done my work experience with a local woman in Ballamore called Michelle Fallon who has her own assorted fitness business. And what she does is she goes around to different groups and does exercises with a range of um, different people. So from teenagers, toddlers, school kids, primary adults, active age groups, men sheds, women sheds, you name it, anything she does. So from that, I got the opportunity then to be linked in with the Leitrim Sports Partnership and get to um, go around for the two weeks as well and go to groups that she would have gone to. And I absolutely loved it. So when I qualified in Cavan, I did personal training. So I got a couple of clients and was with them. And then through a sort of fitness, I got to link in then with the Leitrim Sports Partnership and I absolutely love it. It's it's something that I never thought I would do, to be honest, only for I'd done my work experience with Michelle Fannin. And uh, I had to stand up in front of everyone and talk to everyone. And personally, myself, when I was in school, I was really quiet. I sat in the back class. I did my work. I had a couple of friends I chatted to. I didn't want to be the centre of attention. And when we were in Cavan, we had to do presentations and you had to be confident and honestly it helped me so much because I have to stand up in front of groups and I have to do chair exercises with them or do exercises, show them games and um, show them hand cycling which is um, some of the stuff that the sports partnership would get and as well from being confident through Calvin I got then to be confident through the Leitrim Sports Partnership which then helped me to um, work with Healthy Leitrim as well and I absolutely love it to be honest I can't see myself doing anything else at all thanks very much Hi my name is Oni McGovern and I done the sports coaching and leisure uh, management course in Calvin and I'm in my first year in health and physical activity in Dundalk IT and um, so from going to Calvin it really benefited me like Kira, with my confidence in that from doing the sports coaching I really did uh, gain confidence from being in the pandemic now. I actually have felt confident in um, something as simple as, you know, talking online. Um, and also from that, I done the Erasmus and done 
um, the three weeks work experience is mandatory to do the two, but I ended up doing three. I done one uh, week in the Sleeve Russell in Ballyconnell and I got a job out of that. And then I went on my Erasmus for two weeks and I done that in Torquay. And I really enjoyed it and it was beneficial. And I worked in a gym and the pool, which I also uh, got my lifeguard course out of. Um, which really benefited me from getting my job in the Sleeve Russell and also working, so it did. Uh, so yeah, I really enjoyed my time in Calvin and it was really beneficial, gaining confidence and meeting new people. And not alone have I, I'm originally played Gaelic in that, but um, I also have a big interest now in the nutrition side and also the gym side. So it's just nearly a recap really in semester one for a &P. and then we have um, exercise and health studies, which is similar to what we done with Mary. So that was really beneficial. And it was just kind of a recap and going over it. So when we had exams and continuous assessments and everything, it was just a case of just doing what I'd done before. So I went on my Erasmus on the 19th of January. So I was in a hotel, it was called a uh, TLH. And uh, I done, pool life garden for the first week and then I done um I was in the gym for the second week so the first week I was on watch which I had it was fresh in my head the life garden because I'd done it um in December and then the course the life garden course and then aware of everything I had to do and then also from being with Mary in the gym I was aware of the form and the way machines and everything worked and how the cleanliness and, you know, to keep the equipment safe and clean and everything. It was just, it was really beneficial in that sense. And coming back from the Erasmus, it also helped me in college to um, just be more confident and help me with my communication skills. Hi guys, my name is Sean Doyle. Uh, I'm from Coot Hill Cabin. Um, last year I did the uh, sports course, sports coaching and leisure management in uh, Cabin Institute. Um, and uh, this year I'm a first year student in Carlo studying soccer specific sports uh, coaching and management. Um, sort of my sort of story. So I uh, did the Leaving Cert uh, a couple of years back. Um, and I went into third level sort of college in anyway or third level university in anyway Galway and um, doing sort of a course that I was sort of convinced to go on but like my passion had always been sports uh, and it wasn't a sports course and um, so it, it just wasn't for me I wasn't ready for sort of the commitment that was needed at third level um, I'd applied for a couple of sports courses, including the um, the one in Cardiff that I'm currently on. Uh, I applied for Cork, um, Limerick, and a couple in Dublin as well. But yeah, and I ended up going to Galway, I'm not enjoying myself. So I decided I was going to look at trying to develop myself sort of outside sort of education for a while. So I started on sort of the FAI's coach education pathway. Um, and coaching grassroots with local clubs, um, my local clubs in Coot Hill, and then I was also involved with sort of Cavan on an underage league as well. Um, about a year uh, into it, so about five years ago, uh, I wanted to sort of expand myself uh, and develop myself um, as a coach and a person. So I ended up going abroad to uh, Chicago in America for uh, the best part of five years. Um, I different coaching roles. Um, but it was generally a good experience in terms of um, what we end up, what I ended up studying in Calvin last year. So like there'll be opportunities for coaching, sort of management, uh, leadership and that kind of stuff. So last year um, in Calvin, I ended up studying uh, sort of A&P, gym exercise, coaching, um, which came in really handy for sort of my first year here. Um, because it's a lot of the similar uh, topics. So we have sort of gym instruction, we have our nutrition, our AMP, we have our sports coaching, we even have a bit of IT in there. Um, but yeah, no, like I, I, yeah, really beneficial doing Calvin Institute last year. Uh, and, and sort of it's really helped me sort of settle in and get stuck in here down in Carla. So sort of two things sort of that stood out to me last year. Um, so I ended up getting sort of a sports scholarship um, with Calvin Institute, um, which was really cool for me because, you know, it was just something I applied for. 
Um, I, I didn't think I'd get it. So, no, that was really cool. And then I ended up being involved with the, the men's soccer team. And I know soccer is not a, a big sport in Cavan Monaghan, but it's something I'm involved with heavily. And I'm, I'm big for promoting. So it's really cool to be involved in that with the Cavan Institute. Um, I know good people like Rachel and Finn where they're, they're involved. And I know them from the sort of coaching community in Cavan Monaghan. So it's really cool to sort of be able to link uh, with, with those people and connect with those people there. Um, but... Yeah, no, so being involved with the soccer uh, there, um, which, you know, it was me, meant, uh, me, made me feel that I had somewhere sort of that applied to me because a lot of the other lads in the course were GAA. So, um, yeah, no, it was helpful. Um, but, yeah, no, overall, I, I felt that the, the, the experience overall was, was, you know, really beneficial. Um, when I left sort of third level education in the first place, uh, it wasn't, I wasn't ready for it, um, so Cavan Institute was a really good progression uh, for me to sort of prove to myself um, that I, I was, you know, able to study and apply myself uh, at this level. Um, the course I'm in now is sort of, it's a difficult one to get into, uh, and I don't think I'd be in the course if it weren't for sort of Cavan Institute and sort of stuff I studied there. The, the topics of been really helpful in terms of you know helping me progress the the tutors and the sort of mentors there but have, have always been able to help me out when whenever i've needed it and um, whether it's about sort of subjects or you know just sports uh, or anything in general and uh, cavan it is sort of the way i went and i'd recommend it for anyone and um, if they're either looking to get back into sort of education or if they they feel that sort of sports is an area that they want to find a profession in in the future I'd just like to thank all the students there for taking part in the interview for us. Um, Michael Flood, who progressed to UCC and is presently teaching um, in Temple Myles County Longford. He's a PE teacher there. I'd like to thank Kira, um, who is working in Leitrim Sports Partnership presently. Sean, who is um, studying a BA in uh, sports management and soccer coaching. And uh, Anya McGovern there, who is studying uh, health and physical activity in DKIT. Thank you very much, students, uh, for all that information.